Chairman and members of the committee, my name is Kate. We Bruce. have your written testimony, by the way, and I hope oh. you don't just try to read this mm -hmm. all. Would you please summarize it? Yes. Thank you for giving House Bill 2 a full hearing. I want to share my perspective with you because I am a native Idahoan. Suffice it to say, I have lived in every corner of this state. I am a Christian married mother of three, a registered nurse, and a volunteer at my children's school. It is difficult to measure discrimination against a particular group of people when it is not a protected class because it isn't officially tracked. However, I looked into housing discrimination by calling Zoan Olson, Executive Director of the Intermountain Fair Housing Council, which serves all of Idaho. Over the past year, the council received three complaints of discrimination based on sexual orientation and one complaint based on gender identity. That case is before HUD right now, and I do have details about it if you have questions about the discrimination that took place. But uh, my point is, we have heard a lot of fear regarding frivolous lawsuits. Are gay and trans Idahoans more likely to file frivolous lawsuits than people with disabilities, religious minorities, or racial minorities? If the Human Rights Act has not caused our state to be overrun with frivolous lawsuits, we can be confident that that won't change if this amendment is passed. Olson says the number of complaints her office receives is low because tenants who have been discriminated against fear retaliation and know there is presently no law to protect them unless they live in federally funded housing. The number of complaints is low and the council's goal is not to file as many lawsuits as possible. In fact, they work with housing providers to get them to address the discrimination. They educate housing providers so that they can avoid discriminatory practices. You have about 30 seconds. So that there are fewer cases. In fact, because of their efforts to educate, the number dropped to four last year from the 16 complaints she told me about a year ago. Chairman and members of the committee, I want all young people to know they have a future here with a job in the home if they work hard. With your fair and compassionate leadership, I hope that Idaho's Human Rights Act can finally be extended to my friends. Thank you. Questions? Thank you.